Hi everyone, Linda here. I am in a one-to-one -one bottle swap on your paper pantry and my partner is Stacy Ann who's known as Bitchy Cat on YouTube and I should have showed you this box before I started but this is what the wine bottle is going to go into. It's, it's actually a wine box and it has a lid that slides on it. And I hope I can get it back on because I've painted it all black and I've um, put some cheesecloth in the paint and put it on there and I'm going to do a lot more to it. So I'll be showing you that in a little bit. So here's the bottle so far back. Um, I took some Tim Holtz Distress Ink. Um, I wanted a red. So this is pickled raspberry which is all I had and some black soot and I kind of dripped it in the bottle with some alcohol then on the bottom I've put some dominoes and one of these little lights I because the bottom had that like false bottom thing in it so I thought ooh the light will fit so but I had to make feet for it so that um, the light would fit because see it's a little it's the holes not deep enough for it or the impression wasn't deep enough for it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this gross looking stuff which is just um, you know this packing stuff that I've colored with um, some glimmer mist and Lindy's and some of this ink dink -a do black ink I think and some crazy. grab a guy gold <laughs> grab a guy gold and Rudolph red nose. I just used colors that I thought were Halloweeny. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a long thin stick and I'm going to put it at the bottom. Then I'm going to turn these guys, these buttons, into eyeballs and sit these around on the bottom. I'm taking a hot glue gun and an old satin pillowcase and lining the inside of the box. And there's like the separation and places for the bottle to go. So I've got to figure out a way to do that. Okay, so what I did is I glued the ends and kind of gathered it. And I'm still working on the side. I did the side. Now I decided I wanted to put a little um, like filling in it. So this is like, oh, this is what you would use in a quilt. Like quilt backing. So I'm going to stick that underneath just to make it look a little padded. Okay, so the first bottle broke, so then I went and bought a bottle cutter, and <clears throat> I watched online where you make just one circle around, then you pour really hot water and really cold water on it. Well, it didn't break exactly even, but it's a nice break. It's not all shattered, you know, so it's going to fit back together again with the bottom, so hopefully this is going to work. Because the first bottle I broke because I was trying to shove a skeleton in it. So we'll see how this one will work. So this is the bottom of the bottle. You know, the part I took off. And I put the Excelsior here. And then, well, first I colored it with um, Lindy's and some Tim Holtz ink. And then I took some of these skeletons that I got from, or one, no I guess I took two, these skeletons I got from Michael's I guess it was, and the other one I had cut, I had cut it and tried to shove it through the neck of the bottle but um, it just didn't work, it broke the bottle. <laughs> so this is the second part. So now this guy is going to get these green I'm going to put some green bling eyes in them. Okay, so here's the finished project. Oh, what a time I had. <laughs> well, I learned how to cut a bottle. It didn't cut straight, but it worked. It worked okay. Um, let's see. I'm coming in here. You can see the skeleton inside. He doesn't want to hang real straight, so he's kind of makes him even creepy. I had a black um, cork. And then I took some body parts from a skeleton and hung it on the outside. Then there's the skeleton inside. Then you keep going down to the bottom. And there's all the other parts of 
another skeleton. Then underneath it, you can see the light changing. This bottle has like a dome in it. So I have um, one of these lights that changes colors at the bottom. But I put feet on it, you know, because it needed to have feet. Well, I had to take one foot off to get it in the box. So Stacy Ann's going to have to do that. Then what I did, see this is the bottom. Then I just put tape across the light so that um, you can change it because I know those lights probably don't last that long and if she wants to keep it for longer than she can. Then I put some vintage lace along here and I showed you I put the alcohol ink on the inside and made it kind of creepy. And then I put now where where I cut the glass and where it's really kind of you know, it wasn't a nice straight break, but it was nice in that it didn't chip. So the places, so it kind of comes down like this and I've glued it, but then I also glued on a lot of um, trims just to try to hold it all together. And that's the part that I'm disappointed in. I have, you know, like glue showing here. I guess maybe that makes it look yuckier, but, but um, I'm afraid to go over that with heat because heat is what actually broke the bottle. You you um, make a real thin score line. You barely score the bottle with a glass cutter. Then you run boiling hot water over the score and then ice cold water or the coldest water you can get. And um, that is supposed to, um, that's what makes the glass break. So it's really hard to video a bottle because you have all this glare and I have the sun coming in the window. Okay, so the reason I had to take the foot off is that I, I got this bo box and it was a wine box. And I should think I showed that in the beginning. I showed that in the beginning of the video. But this is what I did to the box. I um, opened it up and I lined it with, I had a old pillow, silk pillowcase I got at Goodwill. And I put some cheesecloth up here, and I lined it all with that. Well, then, when I got the bottle in there with the feet on it, I couldn't get the door closed. So then I had to take this off <laughs> and break part of the separation so that I could get the, the feet in. And I still couldn't get all of them in. So, Stacy, and you're going to have to glue one back on. hope that's okay. So then the door shuts like this. It slides. And that was another thing, you know, you had to a lot for the sliding. Let me just put the camera down here. See, then at the bottom I put all these gears that I cut out. Um, I think it's a Tim Holtz die. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. And then I had some Tim Holtz um, real gears. Here's some of those. Oh, that's a paper one. I, I um, used rub and buff and uh, black ink and all kinds of stuff on them to get them old and looking. This is the cheesecloth. This is a Tim Holtz um, sentiment thing that says reality has limits, imagination is boundless, and that's how I feel when I'm doing things like this. Then this is the Tim Holtz clock with a gear in it. Then I put another skull and a bone on the chain there. Then this is one of those key things uh, from Tim Holtz but I didn't put it, I, and I just glued it, because if I screwed it on like I would have liked to, I couldn't have slid it. And I moved it over just a little bit so you could still know that this is where you pull. Then up here, I took a, oh, let me see, a Michaels frame. Let me see if I put this this way. There, I took a Michaels frame and inked it and rubbed and buffed it. It was silver. And then I took one of those stickers that I just got. Let's see if I can get him to change. Oh, there we go. See, then the horse becomes a skeleton, and he becomes a skeleton, and then go like this, and it's a Victorian. <laughs> it's an old picture. I just couldn't resist those stickers. So I thought that was very appropriate for this box. And um, so i just going to put some paper on the back of it. I put some cheesecloth up here. And I hope that's enough, and I hope Stacy Ann likes it. I, yeah, it was a lot of fun, but it was, <laughs> it may not look like it, but it took me a couple days to do it, so I hope she likes it. If not, Stacy Ann, you can take all the stuff off and remake it again, which is fun to do, too. 
All right, and oh, I better put the bottle up here too so you can see that one more time. I put green eyes on him. I think I mentioned that earlier. Yeah, it's really hard to videotape a bottle, isn't it? All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Get over to your paper pantry. I'm telling you, there are some really, really fun swaps over there. Have a great day. Bye-bye.